In this question, we will learn how to troubleshoot the pod which are in pending state or application is not running. So pod phases are pending. The first one is pending state. The pod has been accepted by the Kubernetes cluster, but one or more of the containers has not been set up and made ready to run. This include time pod spending waiting to schedule as well as the time spent downloading container image over the network. Let's take an example that inside one pod there are three containers running. So out of three, two are running but the third container is still taking time. Maybe it can download the image or due to some other issue it is still in pending state. Okay, so let's talk about how we can check if the pod are in pending states. If a pod is stuck in a pending state, it generally indicates that scheduler has not been able to assign it to the node. Here are some common steps to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. The first one is check the pod events. We can execute the command OC describe pod and then pod name to see the details, events and error messages informing why it is in pending state or we can execute the command OC events. It will produce the all the output from the project level. The second would be verify node status. Check node with OC get node or you can execute OC describe node and then node name. Ensure nodes are in ready state, having enough resources and should not be in codon state, right? The third thing is that review node affinity or taints. Confirm that any nodes affinity taint or toleration are correctly configured and compatible with available nodes. How we can check? We can execute the command OC describe node and then node name pipe grep i taint. Now the question comes into your mind that what is taint if you are not familiar with Kubernetes. So let me explain you what is taint. A taint is like a label you put on a node to tell Kubernetes not to schedule any port on it unless those pods say that they can tolerate that taint. It is a way to keep certain nodes reserved or special one. Take an example that you have one node which is having DPDK interface. So DPDK interface is for fast data transfer and you want to schedule only those pods which is using high traffic. For that reason you can add the taint at node level. Now the example would be how you can add the taint OC taint node then node name key equal to value colon no schedule. If you observe that the node having a taint then you must add the toleration at the pod level so that pod can tolerate this taint and schedule on that particular node. Now let me tell you that what is toleration. Toleration a toleration is a special setting in a port that allows it to run on a node with matching taint. And how you can add the toleration? These are the syntax that you need to add. Okay. The other thing is that you can simply remove the taint from the node. Then all the port will be scheduled on the node. Okay. Now the fourth one would be inspect scheduling issue. What it means that look for messages like 0 slash 3 node or whatever the node you have are available or insufficient resources. This indicates resource constraint or constraint that cannot be satisfied. The fifth one would be resource availability. Ensure your cluster has sufficient CPU, memory and other resources to satisfy the port's request. Let's take an example that in your node you have 4 GB RAM and you schedule the pod with 5 GB RAM. So it never schedule on the nodes. So you need to reduce the RAM from 5 to 3 GB. Check persistent volume. If volume is not mount, then obviously your pod will never comes in running state. Seventh, adjust or remove constraints like simplified node selector is also there. Affinity rules are there or resource request if they are overly restricted. 8 would be scale up the cluster. If you think that your cluster is already full then you need to scale up your cluster or you need to add more worker node in your cluster. All the highlighted one will be you know useful for your exam purpose. Okay, but all these are the things in practical scenario or in production environment 
all these values will be helpful for you now we have talked about pending states what about the running state the pod has been bound to a node and all the containers have been created at least one container is still running or in process of starting or restarting phase okay so let's take an example that you know pod is running state but application is still not accessible let understand with the help of 3d animation we have one deployment and this deployment has two replica obviously we have to add the labels why we have these labels when we create the deployment so this replica set will match the label if it observes some pods with this label it attached with this replica set okay and what about this label it means that whenever the replica set will create a pod it attach this label to these pods okay now further this application is running and we want to access this application which is running inside this pod for that reason we create a service and in service what we define that we mentioned that selector is app equal to my app once we add this label in the service it will start forwarding the request to these ports so in exam you need to check if we have correct label set on at port level and service level when this user send the request to service it should forward the request to ports so you need to think about that if pod is in running state then why am my application is running only because of the labels right that you need to check so let's proceed the lab how we can troubleshoot in order to proceed the lab you need to open the github.com slash anishana 2001 after that you need click on open shift repository and then click on d0280 then you will land to this page and click on taint and toleration in order to proceed the lab i just creating this lab so that i can perform this question let me clear the window here and let's proceed with the question an application is running on the chapter one project there is one port running and your task is it must generate the output as per the question first i need to go to the project oc get all now here i can see that my port is in pending state so what i can do here control shift c it will copy the highlighted page here control l for clear the window oc logs control shift v it will paste now i don't see any logs here so what we can do as per our theory part we can execute the command event oc events now here it says that 0 1 node is available untolerated i can see from here that it is tainted node what we can do here now we should check the nodes oc get nodes as of now i have only one node here let me execute the command oc describe node and then my node name pipe grep minus i taint now here i can see that this node is having a taint with this value and also we can describe the deployment and how we can use oc get deployment and then deployment name minus o yaml if i scroll up i don't see any toleration there is two solutions for this issue one is we can easily remove the taint or we can add the toleration at the deployment but if we add the toleration we need to add all the syntax right but however for the exam purpose or you can say that to resolve this issue the simplest way is that i should remove the taint and how you can remove the taint the command would be oc and i am working on nodes right so it should be adm whenever we are working at cluster level we always use adm command taint node and then node name and this is my taint right data center so what i can do here i just copy this data center and paste over here and at the end press minus sign here that's it hit enter now again execute this command and i should not see anything here that's the case now execute the command oc get all now i can see that my pod is in running state but as per the question it should produce the output right the question is not completed yet the pod is running but we should check it should produce the output or not and here i can see that service is already there 
what we can do let me copy the service name and then oc expose service it will create the route now control l you can execute the command oc get route copy this and curl now i can see that some output here it means that my application is producing the result it means that my question is completed now let's move to our second question and this is the solution if you want to follow the second question is first we need to prepare the lab let me copy and paste over here now my lab is prepared for question second let me clear the window here now an application is running on chapter 2 project there is one pod running and your app task is to it must generate the output how to troubleshoot this issue first we need to go to the project chapter 2 oc get all now here i can see that my pod is in running state that's great service is also created and what about this route route is also created so let's check if it's working or not control shift c curl control shift v for paste it says that the application is currently not serving the request at this end point it may have been started or still starting it means that the application is running but it is not accepting any traffic right or what we can do here let's check this application over here the application is not available now we need to troubleshoot that what is the issue what we can do here oc get all again as per the theory part we have to check the labels right so let me copy here and oc describe so let's check this service and also check the pod labels now we can see that in the pod we have set the label deployment equal to web server app 2 however in the service it says that the selector is deployment equal to anishana 2001 it means that this service should forward the request to those pod which is having this label the second thing you can check that the endpoint is none it means that it is not forwarding any request to any pod what we can do here there is two solution first is either we can modify the pod labels or we can modify the service selector labels our deployment is working fine so we should not check or we should not modify anything in the deployment we should work on service only what we can do here we can execute the command oc edit service and service name is web server hyphen app 2 hit enter and before that let me copy this label so that i can paste over there control shift c and go down in the specs section you must observe selector and here it is let me modify here press a is for append and then remove everything control shift v it should paste like this way and please bear in mind that whenever you are working on yaml there is never equal it is always colon and space okay now escape colon wq write and quit now again describe the service and here you can see that selector is the new one and now the end point is showing some ip address that's great let's check our service now it is producing the output it means that our second question is also completed and this is the output that i have added on my github page this is what i have mentioned here now prepare the lab for the third question copy and paste over the terminal right let me clear the window now my lab is created as per the question 3 an application is running on chapter 3 project there is one pod which is in pending state your task is to must generate the output okay let's go to project chapter 3 oc get all now i can see that my pod is in pending state what we can do here 
the same step i need to repeat here oc logs nothing it's in pending state now i can use event in the event i can see that zero slash nodes are available and it says that one nodes did not match pod node affinity selector and the selector is always in at pod level however here we have deployment so we need to check the deployment see get deployment minus o yaml and then grep minus i capital a5 a is for capital a is for after this line is matching it should print five lines now i can see that in this deployment we have selector here and this is my node selector and here i have mentioned this type equal to sst it means that I should add this label add node then only this port can schedule on this node and what we can do here OC describe node and then node name pipe grep minus I and same A5 and here I am checking label if it's available or not I should remove A here and there is no label set with ssd in order to resolve this issue i i can add the label here or i can remove the node selector from the deployment the easiest way is that to add the label at node level right the command is oc label node and node name is my master and what label it is set this copy and paste over here and always remember that we are using colon only inside the yaml file so here I should use equal to press enter now execute the command OC get all now my pod is in running state that's great but in question it mentioned that it must produce the output it means that we need to create the route here and route is already here we don't need to create the route here so let's copy and curl this and it is producing the output maybe in your question two or three things are combined together so you need to think about that how you can resolve the issue at the end you have to observe the output like this or you can go to browser and check if it's working or not like this way it should produce the output something like this or something different but it should produce the output for the practice purpose i have created the fourth question and this is the lab preparation for this fourth question and you have to do it by yourself wish you all the best if you have any question do let me know in the comment section and if you like my video please like my videos so that other people will get to know that this video is good thank you very much bye bye